General Fuller, commanding the 41st Division, he says, well done. The latest film from the Italian front shows the occupation of Casino. There, where those soldiers are climbing over the rubble, was once the Hotel Continental, a famous strong point in the German defences of the time. Casino, the scene of one of the most grim and stubborn battles of the war, was eventually outflanked, captured and occupied by British troops. Remnants of the enemy garrison were mopped up. Here come a few of the last to surrender. That bloke's a German paratroop. He certainly looks all washed up. And he's followed by one or two more, probably the last Germans to be rounded up in Casino, the fortress they were not able to hold in spite of a most skillful and resolute defence. The monastery was occupied by Polish troops, what was left of it. The enemy, by using it for military purposes, had compelled the Allies to blast them out by shells and bombs. Now, Polish soldiers inspecting the Abbey ruins examine German observation posts and see for themselves how well the enemy had been able to overlook Casino and the valley beyond. At another point amid the ruins, they find a German mortar position. Ammunition was still there, and they found a German weapon something like the American bazooka. Sheer military necessity caused the smashing of this ancient monastery, but even after all the bombardments, art treasures were discovered undamaged, and mosaics on the walls of a chapel were more or less intact. All the same, by the time the Union Jack and the Polish flag were flying over it, the monastery of Casino was mostly ruin and rubble, a monument to German ruthlessness and to Allied victory in the battle for Rome.